Welcome to Veterans Medals Workshop. I'm glad to have you here today. And we have a really interesting show because we're going to talk about the medals that France has presented to members of the United States Armed Forces in World War I, in World War II, and even today. <laughs> but don't worry, we're not going to talk about all of these medals, only the ones that pertain to having been awarded frequently to members of the U.S. Armed Forces. We'll also take a look at French Army badges like this commando badge, mm, but it's not awarded to members of the United States Armed Forces. However, there is a badge that is awarded to members of the Army, Marine Corps, Navy, and the Air Force. We'll take a look at the French Army parachute badge and variations of it. I think you'll find that very interesting. And we'll take a quick look at, well, French marksmanship badges, which are not authorized. And. Uh, We'll also touch briefly on the French Forgere, which is still worn by some American Army units and, well, the Marine Corps. Uh, stick with me to the end and I have a unique and special treat because I'll show you the most, well, the most beautiful, the most jeweled medal ever given to a member of the American Armed Forces by France. I guarantee you not one in a million have seen it It'll kind of knock your socks off. So if you enjoy these shows, thank you for watching them. Oh, by the way, uh, if you haven't seen a show for a couple of weeks, that's because I've been out with a cold and a flu. I asked my stand-in, my backup, to take care of things, but he seemed to have other things on his mind during the holiday season. So <laughs> if you enjoy these, please give us a thumbs up, even subscribe, that'll keep us on the air. And let's go take a look at the French military awards authorized members of the United States Armed Forces. It's always best to start at the top. So on your left is the French National Order of the Legion of Honor that was established in 1802 by Napoleon Bonaparte. And it's been retained by the various French republics up until, well, today. The order is divided into five degrees of increasing distinction. Knight, which is shown on your left. Officer, we'll take a look at one of those. Commander, Grand Officer, and the Grand Cross. In the center is a very handsome military medal, which is awarded for meritorious service and acts of bravery in action against the enemy force. It's the third highest award of the French Republic. It comes after the Legion of Honor and the Order of Liberation, which was a Second World War only award. So the military medal is available for the most senior of the entire military uh, French decorations. On the far right is the French Croix de Guerre created in World War I and a different version for World War II and I'll show you that. It was first established in 1915 and is a square cross medal with two cross swords and the degree in which it is awarded is indicated by various attachments such as you see on this medal. These World War I medals show the Legion of Honor on your left, where in 1870, the crown and image of Napoleon had been replaced in the date of 1870 at the bottom. The military medal is shown here, and on your right is the Croix de Guerre, a cross of war, they have a, with a star indicating award at the regimental level and a palm indicating award at the army level. Here are three examples of the World War I Croix de Guerre, a cross of war on your left, one that was awarded for being mentioned in dispatches four times at the regimental level. In the center, I've turned that one over so you can see the difference between the World War II and World War I, because the World War I has 1914 to 1918 as the dates on the back. And on the far right, it shows an example of one being awarded for mentioned in dispatches at the regimental level and at the army level. 
Shown on your left is the latest version of the Legion of Honor. It was established in 1946 with the creation of the Fourth Republic of France. The big change on it is that a single star is underneath the bust and replaces the date of 1871 on the earlier versions from the Third Republic. Uh, the other thing is that the big rosette indicates that this is an officer, the second level of the Legion of Honor, while on your right is a knight. On your left is the World War II variation of the Quadigare or Cross of War. It indicates, well, that it has been awarded as a mention in dispatches at the Army level. It has a different ribbon from the World War I shown on the right. And the date on the back of the World War II Quadigare was 1939 to the end of World War II. On your left is the French Commemorative Medal, which is awarded to members of the military and civilians for exercises or missions outside of France. This one has the Afghanistan bar. It is occasionally awarded to American military personnel, but more as a courtesy and is not authorized for wear on a uniform. On the right is the National Defense Medal, not to be confused with the American National Defense Service Medal because this is a very high French military decoration often awarded to Allied officers for participating in French missions. It would be worn on senior officers as a military foreign decoration. The French Forger, shown on the right-hand side of the first sergeant's uniform here, draping down over the badges and the ribbons, is a French award or decoration for especially meritorious conduct and action given to over 150 American, well, Army and Marine units in World War I and to a number of Army units in World War II. The Forgier may be worn permanently by individuals who participated with the unit in both actions for which the unit was cited, and the Forgier may be worn temporarily by individuals, well, such as the 2nd Battalion, 6th Marine Regiment, as long as they are assigned to the 2nd Battalion of the 6th Marines, but they cannot wear the Forgier when they leave the 2nd Battalion, 6th Marines. I believe all the Marines serving in the 5th and 6th Marine Regiments are authorized to wear the Forgier as long as they're assigned to the 5th or 6th Marine Regiment. Today, members of three Army units, such as the 1st Infantry Division, the 2nd Infantry Division, and the 82nd Airborne Division, are still authorized to wear the French Forgier while assigned to those units. There may be some others, and if you know those, please let me know in the comments below. If you want to know more about forgeres, lanyards, cords, and agulets, we have another video out there that I think will fill you in pretty good. Taking a look at the French military parachute wings, they were first created in 1946, and they were awarded for six jumps, three daylight standard jumps, one daylight jump with a reserve parachute, one night jump without equipment, and one night jump with full gear and equipment. The badge in the center is called the Parachute Monitor Badge, but it's basically a senior non-commissioned officer who's the jump master or the trainer. And on the far right is the Operational Freefall Badge. On the bottom row, you can see different examples of manufacturers, in some cases with serial numbers on them, and different ways of mounting or wearing the badge. And on the far right, you can see a cloth version of the Operational Freefall Badge. The basic French parachute badge can be worn over the right breast pocket as shown here on the uniform of a former chief of staff of the U.S. Army. Here are some interesting examples of other French parachute badges which are not authorized, but on the left is a parachute badge that was issued to French soldiers who were doing national service before national service was, well, ended in France. Here is another interesting collection of French parachute insignia, but only the parachute badge shown in the upper left is authorized. And yes, of course, the French Air Force has its own version of a parachute insignia, and it's shown to the right of a standard parachute badge. You can see the first one with wings and then the senior parachutist with a star above the parachute. Well, here are four unique African parachute badges. The top two are from Zaire. 
and they are patterned after the basic French badges. The one in the upper left, though, of course, has a handsome leopard head at the very bottom, and then the jump master or monitor patterned after the French version is in gold and has also a leopard head. Parachute badges from Gabon are on the bottom level, and they have a unique design. I really like the lightning bolt in the talons. And on the right, the badge for the jump master or monitor in the French style is shown with a different set of wings. Here's some other interesting French badges on your left, the French Army sports badge. Then you can see the uh, rifle marksmanship badge, uh, sniper's badge uh, in silver. And then what's really interesting is the badge for proficiency in, well, light anti-tank weapons as shown on the far right. None of these badges are authorized for wear by U.S. military personnel. The American Army marksmanship badges have attachments as shown here or rifle through, well, bayonet, machine gun, carbine, and missile. Yeah, you can see all the variations here. They would be attached to the U.S. Army marksman, sharpshooter, and expert badges shown on the left. The French Army also has a unique commando badge as shown here. There are several different variations, but none of them are authorized for wear by the United States Army. However, U.S. service members who complete the French Desert Commando course can earn the French Desert Commando badge. And these are normally members of the Combined Joint Task Force in the Horn of Africa that have to complete the four phases of the French Desert Commando course. Here's a better view of the badge with the silver scorpion in the center. The course itself is very, very interesting. There's a pre-assessment, which is a very physical training with water obstacles. Then there is a uh, combat or commando phase where you're operating in the desert and going over different types of terrain. Then there's uh, close combat training. And then there's also battle maneuver training. The French have had this desert commando course for over 50 years, and it's supposed to be a very grueling five-day course designed to test a soldier's physical, emotional, and mental limits. And it's open to members of the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and, well, and the National Guard. And when it's completed, they receive the badges shown here on this U.S. Marines uniform. The French also have some very nice uh, presentation medallions that they award to members of the armed forces at certain events, or, or if they like you. Uh, starting on the left is uh, one from the 2nd Parachute Regiment of the French Foreign Legion, and then you can see other examples to the right. Well, if you stayed with me this long, I'll now tell you about the most fabulous jewel medal ever given by France to a member of the American Armed Forces. And it was presented to General Washington. Uh, when General Washington passed away, they opened up his strong box, and there were three medals in there. One was the gold medal presented by Congress to General Washington for lifting the siege of Boston. A uh, very handsome gold medal uh, on the front, and on the back it had a, well, a view of General Washington overlooking the siege of Boston. Also inside the strong box was the personal order of Cincinnati's gold eagle presented to General Washington. And we'll take a little closer look at it, and you can see that it's quite elaborate. And it was actually the only one of these eagles done with a reef around it. But the French Navy made a presentation of a completely bejeweled set and diamond version of the eagle of the Order of Cincinnati to General Washington. And in fact, <laughs> he wore it on his uniform during his birthday celebrations after the war. It's quite an incredible looking piece of French workmanship. Wow. Thanks for joining us today for our show on French military medals, badges, and insignia that have been awarded to members of the United States Armed Forces. If you enjoyed this show, please give us a thumbs up and even better subscribe. And special thanks to Medals of America and Fountain End, South Carolina, providing all of the medals, badges, and insignia that you've seen today. Okay, see you next time on Veterans Medals Workshop.